Hey guys, uh, what's up? It's been a while since I've uh, made a, any kind of tutorial. Um, I just haven't been, you know, editing as much recently. I just not been feeling it that much. But um, today I'm gonna just be covering, you know, scales because I've got I've gotten that request on my last edit, so I was just gonna, you know, briefly go over that. So let's just head in After Effects. All right. So I have my clip here. This is the mob cycle clip. And what I normally do for these clips, I, I normally edit in 720p. That's like my go-to resolution for like all my edits. And so here's my composition settings if you need those. They're 1280 by 720, 30 FPS, blah 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 blah. That varies by how long the edit is. But um yeah. So, uh, you just want to go ahead and open up the layer, go to transform, scale, and the values I normally use, I used to go like way deeper, but now I just go to about like, uh, 190-ish, 195, 194, that's like the sweet spot for me, and I go back at a decent amount, of, it depends on how long the, the, uh, clip lasts, that, that's how I determine how long the, the scale's gonna be, but for this long clip, mmm, Let's say right here would suffice 13 frames. Alright, so I just go back to about like 105. I rarely go back to 100, I just don't like doing it. I'll go to 101. Highlight them. You can press F9 to easy ease, or you can right click keyframe assistant easy ease. And for the graphs, you go in the graph editor. I normally turn this all the way over here and put this like right there in and move this like a slight bit to this side but leave a decent amount of space right here and you get this that looks like just pretty stale right now so what I'm gonna do this uh, I normally add some twitch so what I'm gonna do is video compiler twitch uh, enable I'm gonna put this to about 59 and the speed to about 10 and the only thing I'm going to be using is slide that's the only thing I really need um, you can you can customize the slide, how, slide however you want you can make it to where it only goes one way and that's up or you can just make it to where that there's a, um, a spread to it or you can turn on RGB I kind of like the RGB option uh, so I'm just going to turn that to a and normally I don't let the twitch last that long either. I might end up changing that soon. If I just go about one, two, three. Maybe about five is my max. So, uh -huh. Once again, easy ease. And there you go. I normally don't, don't specifically use these settings like all the time, but uh, this is what I will normally use, or or just have the twitch just be a little bit shorter by about like two frames, just something like that, and that's just scale for you. Uh, and if you want wanted to scale inwards at the end of the clip, uh, I'm just probably gonna end up slicing this a bit somewhere. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna slice this here and have that right there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back about two. Couple of frames like that, and do this. Go into about 190, 195-ish. Keyframe, easy ease. Go in like that, and like that. Typically, I would like try to make that look like a little bit less noticeable, like that. Try, just try. That. Uh, 
Yeah. Right up there. And then have this. Looks like I'm gonna put on the Twitch. Oh wait, it's already on here. I like to just turn up the amount. Right there. Back to scale, 195. Go out like that. And let's see how it plays out. And typically, I'll I'll do more than much more than this and edit than just have it. You know, that looks just kind of boring. But um, that's just really basic, just, just a basic scale, really. With with just a little bit of twitch. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to change that twitch up a little bit. No width. And you're free to add RSMB or anything else to, like that on here, which is what I would normally do. Well, I wouldn't do it like that. I would uh, pre precompose all this stuff and put it right here, like that. I normally use about uh, 80 or so for RSMB, but I've stopped using that the, that much recently, but. That's what I would normally go with. Or you can just use the, the motion blur that, you know, let's just on After Effects. Like that. Either way you do it, you should still be fine. So, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just really it. <laughs> Not that much to it. Um, I'll get back to making more of these. I'm, st I've been, like, really dead on this channel, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll actually, like, start posting more now. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later.